Awesome. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. And uh, to, uh, well, happy Friday, first and foremost. Uh, my name is Ben Bradshaw, uh, Diamond Agent from out here in the DMV area. Uh, for those of you that don't know DMV, uh, it is my favorite place. Uh, please don't get it uh, misconstrued with uh, Department of Motor Vehicles. Um, that would not be anyone's favorite place. Uh, I refer to DMV as DC, Maryland, Virginia. Uh, so yeah, the DMV is uh, where we represent. And uh, if you are from Maryland, DC or Virginia, you already know that. But for everyone else, uh, typically I would say, you know, DMV or, you know, uh, used to, from the stage, we would have the chant DMV and people would be like, why are these people so fired up and yelling DMV? No one does that. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's the first lesson of today. And uh, so, <laughs> but my name is Ben Bradshaw. Um, for those of you that I haven't had the fortunate pleasure yet to uh, to actually um, meet, uh, at least in person. I know that, um, you know, that's a challenge um, for most nowadays, and uh, everything seems to be getting better, but I look forward to the moment we get to meet. Uh, my wife, Lauren, and I, we actually, we live, um, again, in, in Maryland, right outside of Annapolis and the Naval Academy, and uh, so we've, um, we have two little girls, uh, Kylie and Cameron, who are amazing, and um, and uh, they're upstairs playing with a million Barbies. So if you guys hear any background noise, let me just apologize for that up front because I don't know what they do with those things. Um, but uh, yeah, my dog chews on half of them. So it just, it can get crazy. Um, but uh, so, you know, um, the benefits of being present parents, right? And so we've, uh, we've been with Secret Direct actually since 2011 um, and, uh, and just, you know, amazing company, amazing people. Um, it has provided us everything we have today, um, but uh, we actually, um, you know, we 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 uh, we recommitted to um, you know hitting Crown Royale, and so you know we've uh, come on board, we've gone all out, and I can tell you, um, if you're brand new or you've been around for a little while, the stuff that we've been hearing coming from corporate, um, you know, that's coming down the pipe, uh, actually right now, um, is just amazing, and it's getting better. So right place, right time, I can say that for sure. And um, you know, I'm excited to be on with you guys today just to launch uh, an actual promotion uh, that uh, I was privy to checking out last night and this morning uh, from corporate. And uh, if you're a platinum and above and you saw that replay, you're probably pretty fired up as well. Um, so I wanna talk to you guys a little bit about that promotion. And then also, as you guys can see the dog right here, Lincoln, Lincoln, say hi, hey buddy. Yeah, so anyway, um, so <laughs> he's my assistant. He just doesn't carry his weight, uh, <laughs> but uh, but anyway. So we you know we have this promotion. It's uh, it's pretty amazing. I was I, I am excited. Um, it was a little tough to sleep last night. Uh, I'm going to share with you guys the details of it. Obviously, all the fine print can be found in your back office, but it's a pretty common sense promotion uh, that uh, I believe whether you're brand new, um, whether you're maybe you're even a prospect sneaking on our team huddle, right? Um, which is pretty awesome, but. Uh, I, I don't care who you are. You know, if you make a decision, you can accomplish it. Um, I don't want to say it's hard. I never use the word easy. I always say simple. Uh, you, now we know the things that are simple to do are simple not to do, right? Which is why most people don't do them, um, you know, because it's just simple. So, uh, but uh, I believe the reward uh, will heavily outweigh the actual um, price of uh, the effort that it would take to, to, um, to, achieve this promotion. Now they're calling it the, uh, the share and earn promotion. Pretty simple, right? <laughs> you share, you earn. I don't like, I don't know what else to say about that. I, I think if once we, I showed you what you can actually achieve for the share and earn, uh, I believe that, um, you know, you would go do it anyway. Right. So, but, um, the share and earn, let me go ahead and actually share, uh, the actual promotion, what it is. And so I don't know if you guys have actually seen this yet, I do know that corporate is sending out an email, um, but I will tell you this, uh, I don't know if I'm actually supposed to be uh, sharing it just yet before corporate sends out the email. So you guys might be the first people to see this, which is awesome. It also means you got a head start. So, which is pretty cool. Now, here's what I'll tell you. Uh, people say, oh, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Uh, I say it's both, right? So, uh, because uh, an object or person that, uh, you know, begins, to create momentum often stays in momentum, right? And so now this promotion is, I believe, amazing. Um, it's pretty funny. I was talking to a new agent yesterday 
And, um, you know, he was asking me about one of these products that he was looking to purchase anyway. And so it's pretty funny how, you know, uh, whoever you just, whoever you pray to, um, the universe, you know, um, God, whoever, right. Uh, it's, it's pretty funny how people speak things into existence. Right. So let me go ahead and share this and we'll get into it. Uh, if you guys are fired up, give a thumbs up, right. Maybe raise the roof. Yeah. So. Okay, cool. So this promotion is actually called Share to Earn. Again, what a novel concept, right? Share to Earn. So let me see if I can go full. I don't want to zoom in. Enter full screen. Bam. Okay, you guys can see this, yes? Joe, I see your face. Can you give me a thumbs up if you can see my screen? Okay, cool. So you see the promotion, yes? The flyer? You don't see the flyer? Okay, let's try this again. Here's the cool thing about this business. Anyone can do it. All right, cool. Can you see the flyer now? No, okay. It's probably because I entered it in full screen. All right, so let's uh, let's do this anyway. Um, man, I love technology when it works. Ben, you had it both times. Oh, really? My man. Okay, cool. Uh, Randy, how about now? Yes, we can see. Yep, it. we got it. Yes. Okay, cool. So here's the share and earn promotion, guys. It starts literally today. Again, I don't know if corporate has sent out the information on this yet. Um, so now here's the cool thing about it. Um, I've been the guy that's always asked for forgiveness, not permission. And so <laughs> um, I can tell you guys, there we go. Is that is that better, Genevieve? Because I see... I was just trying out new sunglasses I picked up from the doctor, so I couldn't see them through the sunglasses. <laughs> see, and there see I am. Without those. my glasses, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so, it's great. Um, yeah, okay, perfect. So I've always been the guy that to, that asks for forgiveness, not permission, right? And, um, you know, and uh, it, it's always worked for me, except with Lauren. Um, typically, you know, when she knows I want something now, she's like, don't come to me later asking for forgiveness when you should have asked for permission. So... Um, so I'm going to share this in hopes that I don't get in trouble and, um, you know, it is what it is. So I will de I'll definitely take full responsibility. So this contest period is today to July 8th. Okay. And, uh, it's very, very simple. It's a summer contest. Um, and what they're doing is they're giving away two prizes. Um, they're giving away a blend jet, which is actually really cool. Um, that's what I want personally. Um, and, uh, and so, cause I, cause Here's the real reason Lauren's been asking for one for a long time. How amazing would it be if I was able to give it to her and I earned it for free? How about that, right? Like talk about major, major, major husband points. Okay, and then uh, price two is actually Apple AirPods. And so when I was sitting with uh, this new agent that uh, is coming on board with us, he was actually talking about AirPods because he had seen mine and he was fired up and he's like, asking me questions about it. So I texted him this morning and I said, hey man, um, you know, I know you're already fired up about everything that is secret, but uh, I actually have a way that you can earn AirPods for free, just running, coming out of the gate. And uh, I would love to share with you what he said to me, um, but it's just not appropriate. So, but rest assured, he's pretty fired up, okay? So uh, summer's here, it's time to share and earn. Again, the two things we want to do anyway, right? Um, activity, effort, and results. So prize one is the blend jet. It's the second version, which is amazing. How do you get it? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, you get seven new or existing um, personal customers and the target market, whether it's US or Canada is $150. Now think about this, for example, seven, seven new or existing customers. Now I'm gonna go through the fine print with you guys and hit on some key things. Um, but what I'll say is, um, you know, it's actually a pretty common sense, uh, approach to see this. Okay. So, um, a pretty common sense approach to achieve it. There's no gotchas as I call them or ahas. Um, it, it, it actually is pretty set common sense. Now prize two is Apple AirPods. Um, now these AirPods too actually have their secret branded on them. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Right. Um, and uh, so 
um, you know, whether you're out at a, a coffee shop or a restaurant or doing a sit down presentation or what have you, you know, when you leave these things out, right, and you're meeting with people and they see how cool it is to have secret branded, um, you know, it's pretty amazing. Hey, if whoever's not on mute, if you could mute yourself, that would be hot. There we go. I got it. Cool. Okay. So uh, these two things, right? Now, what does it take to achieve prize two? Prize two is pretty simple as well. It's 11 new or existing customers with the same exact um, uh, um, $150, whether it's US or Canada. Now, a couple things about that. Okay, let's go to the fine print really quick. So um, seven, seven or 11, seven, 11, right? Now it's not you achieving seven and then going and getting 11. It's just four more, pretty simple. Uh, now, there's a couple other uh, great incentives about this. Um, boom, 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 boom. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So customers can use their wallet only after, so they have to literally spend $150, okay? Anything over that, they can use their wallet credit for, so that's a great promotion to find out how much uh, your customers have in wallet credit um, to get them to bump them off the, the ledge to order more, okay? So that will count for you, all right? So if they have $50 in wallet credit, they have to use 200, 50 of that can be their wallet, and then 150 can be from the actual uh, uh, count towards the promotion. Um, bum, bum, bum. What else, what else, what else? It, again, it can be new or existing, right? So uh, many of us that have been around for a little while, we actually do have customers that have already um, you know, tried our products. Well, guess what? promote new pr products and, you know, get them off the fence, okay? Get them in the game, right? Now, uh, customers' customers can actually count as part of this, um, you know, promotion as well for you. So let's say, for example, you have a great customer like, um, you know, Genevieve, for example. Um, the only reason I keep using you, Genevieve, I hope you don't mind is because I can see you. So uh, with your cool new glasses on. And uh, so let's say Genevieve was a customer and uh, you want to incentivize her, um, you know, so maybe you can give her, um, maybe you have wallet credit and you could uh, literally give her a free product if she promotes and uh, refers you for customers, right? So use your wallet as a promotion for any free credit that you have to push forward to some of your key customers saying, hey, if you place an order with me this month and you refer me blank, um, you know, uh, friends at are looking for blank, whatever it is, right? Um, then, uh, you know, then, then you'll give her free, cred free products from your actual wallet, okay? So that's a great way to uh, get people to refer you as well, along with the influencer uh, promotion. Um, what else, what else, what else? Now, here's a key thing, okay? Um, that uh, now, and, and I encourage you guys to check out the fine print that's here. I'm not gonna go through all of it, just some stuff that I actually saw uh, that uh, that makes sense. Um, it can't. You can't use um, a, an agent can't use their credit card for customers, right? So it it has to be. It, you just got to do it the right way. Okay. We don't want anyone buying rank. We don't want anyone buying, um, you know, promotions and stuff like that. Because yes, are you achieving the promotion? I don't know. It's a fine line, right? So I'm all about people, you know, doing things the right way. So if you have a customer, I would prefer that they would use their own um, uh, information in their own bank account, credit card, debit card, what have you, okay, in order to achieve this. Does that make sense? I think it's pretty common sense, right? So um, the last thing I would want for someone is to think they've achieved something, um, but, you know, did they? I don't know, maybe, you know, again, it's a fine line, right? So um, for me, it's just about doing the, checking out the fine print, inspecting what you expect, and then just go out and smash the actual, um, the actual uh, uh, promotion. So that's, um, that's a big thing. Okay, so make sure, again, you check out the fine print. Let's talk a little bit about, um, you know, just some of the ways that you can achieve this promotion, right? So um, again, I think it's simple. Um, you know, I think you could do it in a day if you'd like. I think you could, you know, for sure do it in a week, um, you know, even part-time. Could you do it in a month? Yeah, like, I don't know. I mean, it, it just depends. How hard do you want to do the promotion? Now, there's two things about that that I want to say to you guys. Obviously, as leaders, 
you want to do it because if you're promoting to get other people to do it, it's tough to promote something to other people that you're not actually doing yourself. Does that make sense? You know, so it's, um, it, it's like, well, I don't, you know, did you do it? Well, I don't know, but you should, right? Like, it's pretty crazy. Anytime someone points a finger at someone else telling them what to do, like you always have three fingers pointing back at you saying like, you should do it too, right? Like in anything that we're, we're talking about with other people, okay? So definitely get it done yourself. Obviously, um, you know, it's, uh, it, it's pretty simple to do when you're running for something as well. And then it comes off genuine and natural uh, to, to, to help other people do it. Um, just the same. So, um, boom, boom, boom. Uh, Yesenia said, I love this promotion. Me too. It's pretty, it gets me pretty fired up. So now there's a couple ways to do this. You can use it also as a recruiting tool, right? So there's two ways. Uh, there's two things we do. We recruit to promote, right? Products. And then we promote products to recruit new agents, right? You guys understand that? And so whatever you choose to do, um, pick a strategy that works best for you and then just go all out massive action to achieve it right now for me I will um, always try to recruit to promote okay where can we find this flyer uh, Melanie it's going to be in the back office it'll also be sent out as an email um, so just stay tuned for that if uh, if you don't mind and um, and I can actually I'll put it in here um, actually, you know what, I'm going to put it up on the team um, elite agents group uh, Facebook page right after this, uh, right after this, um, this Zoom. So recruit to promote. Okay, so obviously you have people that are, are, are on the fence as prospects, or maybe you haven't even reached out to them yet. You know, I always would ask people, hey, there's a new promotion. So I, don't, I know you've been thinking about getting involved with us for a little while. And uh, I think this promotion is pretty crazy. Uh, you can win literally free AirPods. They're giving away free AirPods for doing some pretty simple stuff. And, um, you know, we have about a month to do it. Um, so, you know, I don't know who you need to talk to or what you need to see. Why don't you tell me that's gonna help you uh, get off the fence and get in the game, right? So, you know, go back to your list of people that you presented to and, you know, uh, use the promotion to recruit them, right? So again, you're, you're recruiting to promote the actual promotion. Does that make sense? Everyone good. Okay, cool. Um, so, or you can, again, you can promote to recruit, right? So um, it's, uh, it, it, that's pretty simple to do um, because uh, you can use one of these giveaways, whether it's the, the, the actual blender or whether, or Blendjet or whether it's the AirPods and you can raffle one of them off. Uh, what do I mean by that, right? So for me, I already have AirPods. So, and I love them. Like, I don't know how people operate in business without them like no joke right and so you know i'm going to run for this promotion but because or i say run i'm going to achieve this promotion because i'm going to use the airpods and give them away right as the part of the promotion you know so um so i would i would i'm, I'm going to reach out to people right and this is just a, another strategy just giving you guys some ideas okay do what's best for you right um, but, uh, but obviously these masterminds and team huddles are great because it gives people an opportunity to, uh, share, you know, different ways to help them succeed. And so, you know, I'm going to say something like, uh, uh, raffling off, um, a, a pair of free AirPods, um, this month for some pretty simple stuff. Um, you know, uh, if you'd like to enter to win, please let me know. Right. And so you collect that information. You share the, the details of the actual uh, of secret and then let them get in where they fit in, right? So, um, you know, and, uh, and then you use, the, use them as potential customers to get to their spheres of influence that they would naturally refer to you because they could enter the win of free AirPods too, right? So, or, or maybe it's something like, um, uh, you know, you, you have uh, your friends post something on their Facebook wall that promotes you and promotes secret, right? And if they do that, um, you know, they let you know or tag you, right, in their post. And then, you know, and you create the post, whatever it might be, right? But you have them tag you, right? And then on their wall, so you hit their friends and you get in their timeline, right? And then that's a super cool way to literally, um, you know, expand your network. Guys, this is simple. It's network marketing. All we're doing is marketing to networks right? So how do you do it? Well, you do it very simply. You 
ask people what you know it's they're all they're always tuned into their own favorite radio station anyway right it's w i i f m right it's what's in it for me we call it with them it's everyone's favorite radio station so what's in it for them why would they want to um you know promote you okay well simple if they have a, a way that they could win free airpods why would they not if they have a free way that they could win you know uh the blend jet too why wouldn't they do that right so I would use one of the gifts to help me propel to win the other one, okay? So first things first, um, pick whatever one you're running for, right? Now, here's a question for you um, to help you pick whatever you're running for. If, there's a, if I put a $50 bill and a $100 bill on the table, which one would you take? Anyone? The $100 bill? Okay. Well, both. Okay, both. Kimmy, you've heard that before. Because listen, I said, if there's a 50 or, which one would you take? And the answer really is both because no one said you couldn't. Does that make sense? So uh, Mary Helen, yes, if you get if, if you get 11, you get both. Um, so that's awesome. So take both, right? Why not? Okay, and then you could even use it uh, once you've earned it as a team promotion or something like that. So uh, for people in the future that are joining your team. So that's a great way. Now, obviously um, another way that I, I wrote down that is, uh, uh, pretty awesome to promote to, to to drive some momentum in your business is to also use uh, birthday codes, okay? Because um, you know all of your existing customers have birthday codes if they haven't already used them in their emails, right? And so why not inspect what you expect? Go through your organization of customers and figure out who has not used their birthday codes, okay? Because now again they have to spend over one hundred and fifty dollars. But let's say they spent $180 and they had a $20 birthday coupon. Well, guess what? That brings their total down to $160 and that qualifies as one of your 11, right? So make sure you're doing that, guys. It's all about value, right? So um, there's two things in life that people, um, you know, they, 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 they will find a way to make things happen, right? Um, our lives are affected by two major ways. It's price and promise, right? So if you can show someone the promise of what you can offer them, price literally does not become an issue because they'll find a way if you can pro provide the value, okay? So they'll pay the price if the value is there, right? So I see a question here by Genevieve. Uh, go ahead. Okay, my question is, um, okay, sorry, let me put the video back on. When, okay. Um, okay, so when you're, um, when they have to spend $150, say when they go in and say they put stuff in their cart and at the 20 percent off it's 150 and then if they do subscribe save and win and it's 10 percent less and it goes below 150 does then they have to buy more to get back up to 150. that's a great question and you always ask great questions which i appreciate oh, well, you're sweet uh, but um no i'm telling the truth seriously um but uh that's a great question now i don't know the answer to that right now um, but what I would say is when I upload this flyer, um, the, the, the best thing that I would do for something like that question is I always try to stay conservative, right? Because if you under promise and over deliver, people get fired up. Um, but I would say to check with HQ on that. But uh, my gut um, answer is that uh, to make sure the dollar they're spending, the bottom line that they actually transfer out of their account to secret is 150 that's the easiest way to make sure so um and not just that but people will spend more money when the perception is they're getting more free stuff so um so that's just my reaction and my answer again i would check the fine print and ask hq and um and uh but yeah so it's that's what i would say then i have a quick question go ahead randy um what about um is it just product only or what if uh a club secret membership is included in the order? That's a great question too. Um, and I don't know the answer to that. I, I would venture to say that it is just product, um, but I don't know that, you know, again, I think it's um, dollars that the customer is exchanging, right? Um, and I believe the bottom line has to be 150 bucks after all promotions and different things like that. Awesome. Okay, so. Yeah, but that's a great question to ask for um, to HQ. Um, again, this is brand new. So I, I, I am gonna post the fine print of it, but at the end of the day, you know, there's obviously always questions. There's always 
you know, what ifs, right? Um, but, uh, but at the end of the day, I believe if the customer is spending $150 after everything, then um, I, don't, uh, I don't believe you'll have an issue. So right. may I ask one more thing? When, when you said, yeah. ask, are you saying call customer service or H? When you say HQ, who are you saying to ask? Uh, HQ is customer service. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And um, for, uh, for, for Canada, is that 150 Canadian for the Canadians? That's what the flyer says. Wow. Yep. Cool. Yep. So yeah. You guys are getting awesome. a good deal there. <laughs> it's literally guys, um, you know, one more thing I want to talk about too. Let me upload this as well. So, you know, that promotion is, is pretty amazing. Okay. Um, I, uh, it's, you know, I was really fired up about it I, and, you know, obviously using it um, to, uh, to help people win and create momentum. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple, right? Like, you know, we as uh, distributors sometimes complicate things that are very simple conceptually. Um, let me talk a little bit about the subscribe, save and win. This is um, something that I am going to be pushing like a madman um, because it's very, very simple. It's something we should be doing anyway. Um, and I do know that, uh, you know, it's, it's um, listen, I mean, at the end of the day, guys, you want to get the biggest bang for your buck, right? Like we all work hard, um, you know, and, and most people are part-time, right? So they're exchanging their hard earned dollars for value, right? Um, whether you're a customer or an agent, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, if I'm going to be spending my money with someone, I want to make sure I'm getting the best experience. I want to make sure I'm getting the best value for my dollar. I'm sure you guys are like that too. And with this save, with this subscribe, save and win, you know, it's pretty simple. It's you get on that for three straight, you know, three consecutive months. And, um, you know, obviously the savings are, are more than, you know, if you were to actually just buy a product to be active. But um, what I'm fired up about with this is that um, the, the rewards that come with the new subscribe and save, specifically the secret, the share secret app. So if you're on it for three months, you're getting 10 experience packs for free. Like I, and, and this is something I don't believe has been driven home enough with um, our organization as a promotion. But listen guys, like we're gonna be active anyway. You know, like it's a common sense thing, right? Um, not just for, you know, to receive commissions, to be qualified, right? Like that, because that's part of being qualified is being active. Um, but at the end of the day, like if we're going to do that anyway, right? Why would we not want to get 10 free experience packs that we can send out to prospects, you know, to whether it's nutrition, whether it's um, skincare, uh, you know, that's a hundred dollars right? Like 10 experience packs is a hundred dollars anyway. Do you guys follow me? And, you know, obviously as leaders on this call today, we're doing the 10 in play right away and the two a day every day, right? Like, you know, we're planting those seeds and we're cultivating so we can reap the harvest, right? Some of you guys know, I talked about that the other day, but if that's, if, if we're business owners and we're doing that anyway, because any business owner does that, then why would we not want to get the biggest bang for our buck and take advantage of getting free seeds that we can plant, right? Like that would cost us a hundred dollars, you know, like three consecutive months and you get a hundred dollars essentially with, you know, the experience packs. Is, is that a common sense thing? Yes or yes. Right. Like, so make yes. sure you guys, yeah, make sure you guys get on that subscribe, save and win uh, for those, all those benefits. Okay. Um, but I can tell you guys, I've, I'm fired up about getting the 10 credits because I know that um, usually it takes me a little longer to go in and purchase the credits. And I usually have prospects that I've already gotten their address and their information because I've piqued their interest. So I'm like, oh crap, well, guess what? I have someone from yesterday that, um, that is actually moving pretty soon. And, but they gave me their old address to send them experience pack to. And uh, so I gotta do that, right? So what do I have to do next? I gotta go in and purchase credits. But if I already had them loaded anyway, because I had my subscribe, save and win on autopilot, like they would already be in my back office, you know? So, um, so it, it eliminates for me an extra step alongside of also saving me a hundred dollars for what I would do anyway. Does that make sense, right? You guys follow me? Um, so I'm really fired up about that. Let me share something else guys that uh, I'm excited about. Okay, uh, boom, boom, boom. Let me go to the next. I'll share this. All right, the nutrition collection. 
All right, so power up, 20% off of retail, right? So the retail value, um, our price is only 124 bucks, okay? So that's a great, great, great subscribe, save and win. And, you know, these are three of the products that I actually take, um, you know, and people should, they should take regardless, right? Like literally you think about the vegetables that we're eating, they're not grown the same way. Typically people are eating them and they're processed. They're just not very good quality. Um, you know, typically if we're getting them from the grocery store, right? Um, the recovery, the molecular hydrogen by itself is something we should be taking every day. And the boosters as well to erase the trauma that we're putting our bodies through throughout the day. So for $124 as an agent, that's pretty crazy, um, you know, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, you get the bonus item as well. Um, so, you know, retail, look at that. And then obviously VIP and then car price. Um, and then the customer offer, right? So this is a great value proposition to help increase the bottom line of what your VIPs are, you know, ultimately going to spend, right? So think about if they get all five of these products here, you know, and they got it for 260 bucks, you'd be well over that $150 price point. And at the end of the day, think about they're, they're literally saving, you know, $60 off of retail, um, you know, so Promote savings, promote value. Again, W-I-I-F-M, what's in it for me, meaning what's in it for them, okay? And so, and, and, and again, I would be using the AirPods or the, the BlendJet 2 as a promotion that you'll raffle off just by someone becoming your customer, right? So again, promote to recruit or recruit to promote, you pick. But at the end of the day, guys, it's about activity. It's about planting seeds, cultivating those seeds. And then obviously you will reap the harvest. Now these ratios of the seeds you plant to the seeds that you harvest to the seeds that, uh, or the seeds you cultivate to the seeds you harvest. Um, I don't know what your ratios are. I do know the only way to increase them is by planting more seeds, cultivating them to reap more harvest, right? And so um, at the end of the day, um, guys, we, you know, S Secrets put so many things on the table for us to help us, um, you know, uh, succeed, right? Like, like I didn't even talk about the, the 20 to 30% that you would get in commissions just by having customers, right? Like, you know, didn't even, didn't even talk about the free product credit for your wallet next month just by having 11 customers. Like do the math on that, right? Like this is all just an extra on the side, you know, icing on the cake, if you will, just from doing the things that we would do anyway, okay? And um, lastly, I want to talk about one more thing and... Uh, and we'll be good to go for today. Um, maybe open it up for some questions on building um, your business. And uh, so let's take a look here. Bootcamp is coming up, guys. Um, now, here's the thing about bootcamp. Uh, number one, it's gonna be amazing. Um, number two, it's gonna be amazing. Number three, um, refer to number one and two, right? So it's gonna be amazing, okay? Now I do know that um, you know uh, countries are opening back up for people to travel. Uh, which is also amazing, um, but uh, obviously there's still restrictions on some people. So, um, you know, if you, if you can't make it and you're in Canada, for example, um, well, guess what? Uh, HQ just announced yesterday, and I don't know if they've sent it out to the field, that uh, boot camp will be virtual for those in Canada that um, cannot travel. Yay, which is amazing, okay? Because that wasn't the case before this. Um, so, you know, make sure you guys are uh, definitely, definitely, definitely getting uh, ready for uh, boot camp, okay? Um, and uh, so that is the latter part of July. Uh, but uh, there's a March to boot camp presentation schedule. Um, so it is every night uh, doing a live presentation on Zoom. Again, so why would you promote a, um, a presentation tomorrow when there's one tonight? Why would you promote a presentation on Sunday when there's one tonight and tomorrow, right? So don't um, you know, don't, uh, don't promote something that's in the future when you have something that's in the present that you can take advantage of. Does that make sense? Yes or yes, right? So boot camp is gonna be amazing, but here's how you build into boot camp. okay? You build into boot camp by asking people tonight what their schedule's like, right? Um, you know, and, uh, and if, it's free, if they're free, then you wanna get them on the presentation. Why? Because, you know, you don't want to promote something tomorrow night. You don't wanna promote something Sunday when they could get involved tonight and they could have people on the, you know, as agents could have the actual, um, uh, they could have their prospects on um, the uh, bootcamp presentation tomorrow night. 
where they could have them on Sunday, right? So it's a snowball effect of how to actually recruit to promote, okay? So, I mean, it's very, very simple, um, obviously conceptually. Uh, it's just people that jack things up, right? Thinking like, oh, well, this person wouldn't be interested or that person, you know, is too busy or yada, yada, yada. You know, never let someone's excuses um, or reasons be their excuses, right? So if someone's busy, well, guess what? I know busy people like to get paid while they're at home or at work being busy, right? Or people say, I don't have money. Well, you know, typically the people that don't have money are typically the same people that didn't have money last month, the month before, or the month previous. Now I'm very sympathetic to, you know, people not having money because, you know, like times are challenging, right? But times are challenging because, um, you know, they're challenging and we have to rise to the challenge. Okay. So if it would be naive to think that things would be different next month with the same thinking from this month, you guys follow me on that. Right. So it's like, you know, if you're talking to someone that is having a challenge financially, you know, I would ask them how long it's been going on. Right. Be conversational. Don't be confrontational, you know, ask them what's going on in their life. And if they have a pathway to see themselves solving those challenges, because if not, guess what? you have a pathway for them, right? And so again, it's all about perceived value uh, because if you can show them the promise that next month they won't be struggling financially, then they'll find whatever price it is uh, the barrier of entry for them to get involved now to change that, okay? But you have to show them the promise so they'll pay the price. Does that make sense, right? But you paint them into that picture. Again, W-I-I-F-M, um, you know, what's in it for me if I was the prospect that's having financial challenges, right? You know, um, maybe it's a time issue or challenge. Um, but again, don't let that reason be their excuse, you know, because at the end of the day, guys, time is going to keep going by and people are going to keep missing out. And if they keep missing out, then unfortunately, you know, later on in life, right, they're going to enter a time where they're like, wow, I wish I had or I wish I did. Um, but uh, I can tell you guys, I don't know how many people that thank me really for doing what I was going to do anyway, um, you know, and, 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 I want to, I don't want to say rescuing them, but showing them a better way where they can get their time back, where they can get finances out of the way as an issue. And they thank me, but literally I was trying to do the same thing for me by paying it forward to them and just showing them a plan that together, right? We could be partners, right? I wouldn't walk in front of them or behind them. I would walk alongside them to show them a plan where we could plan their work and work their plan. And ultimately they could, you know, accomplish the challenge that was in their life, whether it was time or money. Does that make sense? And so people are hoping, wishing, and praying for opportunity to give them back the things that they're missing. But unfortunately, if we're not reaching out to them, right, and planting the seed and cultivating, cultivating means following up, right, or providing whatever they say they need to see or experience in order to make a decision, um, you know, and, and feel free to ask them, right? Hey, one of my famous lines, I shared this a couple of weeks ago. I have ESPN, but I don't have ESP. Ha ha ha, right? Such a corny joke. But isn't it pretty funny that, um, you know, people always laugh at that, right? Like, I laugh at me because it's dumb. It's such a dumb joke, but everyone else laughs too. So I'm okay with them laughing with me and at me because I'm laughing. And I say, you know, uh, what, what do you need to see or who do you need to talk to in order to get involved with us or make an educated decision one way or the other? Let them tell you, oh, I need to see more information. Okay, great. What type of information? Um, I need to try the product. Okay, great. What's your address? I'll send you an experience package, right? So, you know, I need to talk to my spouse. Okay, great. When's the closest time that now we could hop on Zoom? Because I don't want her to get a fraction of the information, right? I don't know if you've ever played that, uh, that game that they play in kindergarten called telephone. But typically by the time it gets to the next person, next person, next person, next person, they're not even in the same ballpark as the information that was shared. And I wouldn't want your spouse to be in that same boat, especially if this could be your home run to provide X, Y, Z, whatever they said they wanted. Does that make sense? Okay, great. So, you know, all we're doing, we're solving problems, right? How many of you guys want to cash big paychecks, right? How many guys want to cash checks that you can't even explain how you got them or what they are, right? You know, because at some point you won't understand your check, but you'll cash it anyway. Well, how do you do that? You master simple things that yield high results. All we're doing is helping people put their oxygen mask on, but first we got to put our oxygen mask on because you can't help other people breathe if you're not breathing. Does that make sense? And so, you know, 
how do you do that? Well, first, again, you make that list, figure out where people are, and you track the results you're looking for. And then from, from there, you, you just increase your, your ratios by increasing your activity, right? I mean, think about this, um, you know, and, and we did a, a challenge way back when, and it was amazing, but it was a hundred no challenge. You know, I will, I, I, I will literally, this is the only thing I guarantee. I guarantee it doesn't matter what you said to people, you could not get 100 no's in a row. If you went to a hundred different people and said, hey, are you open to making additional income on the side if it didn't interfere with your crazy busy schedule? And you said that to a hundred different people, I guarantee you that you would have people that would say yes. Even if it was the worst thing in the world, you would still have people that would say yes. Numbers are numbers. You follow me? Here's the thing about it. Most people would not go through 99 no's to get one yes that ended up being a Muzaffar Najvi, that ended up being a Jesse McPherson, that ended up being, you know, um, whoever it is, right? Like ended up being a Kathy Allen, uh, Leah Johns, you know, a Ruth Sheraton, right? Uh, a, a Trish Rizera, right? Um, you know, you, you know that, that, that 100th person could be the yes that sets you financially free. We only got to find two in our compensation plan, you know, that's it, right? And people are like, oh my gosh, that's so simple. Uh, conceptually, right? But how, many, how fast can you get 100 no's? Think about this, for example, right? Like I'm in my finished basement now, okay? Like, you know, my dad and I finished this basement back in November, thankfully before wood, you know, was worth more than gold. <laughs> um, but, uh, but, um, but at the end of the day, guys, like we painted it and everything. Now, the, the amount of paint that it took to actually finish, finish, okay? Keep, it, keep, keep in mind the word finish. The amount of paint that it took to finish this basement is the amount of paint, right? Like that's, that's, that's a concrete you know, amount. The amount of brush strokes that it takes to finish this basement of paint, um, you know, finishing it, this is the same, right? What's the only variable? Anyone know? Anyone know the only variable? For the paint? Uh, yep. <laughs> so if, if I were to finish painting this basement, right? And we knew that the amount of paint and supplies, right? And the amount of brush strokes it took to finish the pa painting the basement, if that was all the same, what's the only variable? The time. The time you invest. The time I invest, right? So literally, if, if you know, if you knew the amount of people it would take to contact and invite, right, to share the plan, to collect decisions, to get people involved, and the ultimate end goal was you hitting Crown Royale, the numbers are the numbers, right? The time in which you give yourself to do it is really on you. You guys follow me? None of that stuff changes. The only thing that changes is the time. Could I paint this basement in a month? 100%. Could I paint this basement in a week? Yeah, for sure. Could I do it in a day if I didn't have, you know, um, distractions, right? I'm sure I could do it. You guys follow me? You know, could I, it, it, it's, it's pretty simple conceptually to finish, right? Finishing is conceptually simple, okay? Again, we all have distractions, you know, and they're all equal, you know, right? Now they're all equal in eliminating them so you get closer to your goal. Not all distractions are equal to us. You guys follow me? Some things are more challenging than others. Again, anything that prevents you from, prevent, from, from finishing your goal is a distraction. So how do we do that, right? Well, we gotta stay focused. Focus is the one thing that's gonna help us get the blend jet to, right? Help us get the AirPods, but that's just a stepping stone helping you to promote to get to where you wanna go, okay? It's a great promotion. HQ does not have to do that. You guys follow me? Like I was, I would go get 11 customers anyway because I wanna build a business that you know literally works in spite of me and not because of me, but I know that it has to work because of me first before it goes in spite of me. You guys follow me? So how fast can I paint the basement? How fast can you know, I get it done to finish? It, de it depends on my focus and my distractions and how I eliminate them. You guys follow me on that? So that's that, guys. Um, 
you know, it's, uh, and just so you guys know, um, you know, obviously there's been some shipping challenges. Um, those, uh, from what I understand as of next week will be no more. I know customer service at HQ is working overtime um, to, uh, to, to, to help uh, fulfill orders and get all that stuff taken care of. So obviously, you know, as a, as a distributor and agent, just like you guys, um, I just want to say that uh, I appreciate your patience. Um, you know, I know things are, are getting better, obviously, um, and continuing to get better. Um, but um, at the end of the day, two guys, um, I want to say this to you as leaders, you know, don't want what you don't want, right? Like, um, you know, challenges are great because um, challenges uh, prove to us that we are involved in the company uh, before the momentum hits. Um, because if you're in a company, you know, like some of these pioneer companies, yes, legacy, right? Like I want Secret to be a legacy company, right? But I want to be involved before the challenges because you can always measure, measure the size of your paycheck by the amount of the problems and challenges that you're solving, okay? So, you know, you can get involved in a legacy company, but you won't be involved before the momentum phase, right? And so, you know, it's just, it's one of those things, right? Like you can be involved before or after, but what's going to help you, you know, um, um, you know, accomplish your goals faster, right? Being involved in a company before it hits momentum, because once it hits momentum, game over, right? Like it's a legacy type company. And so, you know, for us guys, like, yeah, there's challenges for sure. Um, could things be simpler? Yeah, for sure. You know, but at the end of the day, guys, like, you know, Jim Rohn says, don't want what you don't want. You know, you don't, you don't, don't wish for things to be easier, wish for us to be better, right? Um, whether it's, you know, HQ, whether it's the distributor, whether it's your sponsor, whether it's your team, you know, the only thing that we can control is our activity and our attitude. And, um, you know, the attitude will always come before the paycheck. So I can tell you guys, things are getting light years ahead, which is amazing. Um, but at the end of the day, guys, um, you know, we're in a great position and uh, we're, we're, in, we're definitely involved in great timing. So appreciate you guys being on. I'll open it up. Um, we, we're 10 minutes early, um, but uh, I'll try to answer any questions uh, to the best of my ability. Um, so if you have a question, um, go ahead and raise your hand or uh, uh, get off mute. and. Um, I think we can take questions for about five minutes. Genevieve. Okay, this is because I'm not always on your team stuff, but where are you? Where do you post your um your recordings of these? I want to share them with some of my team. Uh, so it'll be the the I know Kara, um, Kara always posts them in the Team Elite Agents group. Okay. Okay, the recording. Um, just you. so you guys know, the team huddles are every Wednesday and every Friday. Okay, so um, you know, and uh, and you know, hour long. Um, most of the time, it's less. Uh, hopefully, great value um, today. And uh, obviously, I always get great value. But um, but at the end of the day, guys, um, you know, it's it's something you definitely want to be on uh, because it's a battery charger, and we are the batteries, right? Like life happens to us all. And so when your battery gets down, you want to bring it up, right? And if your battery's up, you want to help other people whose batteries are down. And the only way you can do that, where you can become a great leader, right, to produce great leaders is by getting the information. People say all the time to me, like, you know, how do you speak subconsciously and things just spit out? Because I plugged in and learned, become a great student before I was able to become a great teacher. And I just Don't did it. it. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'll tell you what I've oh. done. Sorry. Oh, it's, okay, no worries. And so, because you can't, you know, it, it, it's just a subconscious now, putting in the 10,000 hours and still continuing to learn and evolve and adapt, okay? Because that's the only way you can teach other people. I mean, how many guys would love to have a Muzaffer or Jesse on your team? All right, all of us, you know? But uh, how many of us would be ready to handle and lead a Muzaffer or Jesse? You know what I mean? If they came to you for solutions to your challenges, would you be able, would you know how to do it? Right? Like, so that's why it's inevitable that we have to get better if we want to attract leaders like that. We all want to be crown royales, right? You know, but very rarely will, you know, our money and our income ever exceed the value we're bringing to the marketplace. Okay. So again, how fast can we paint, you know, and, and finish? I don't know. You know, so it's up to you. We're just here to help and uh, inspire by example and lead by example. And hopefully that uh, helps some of you guys out. 
Um, any other questions? Thank you. I appreciate being on here. Your stuff and Ruth and Trisha's is at the same time. So it's like, I like to listen to both. So that's why I want to know where your stuff is. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, absolutely. I love listening to you too. Thank you. Sure. No, I appreciate it. And back offices are a link to see the schedule of bootcamp presentations. Uh, Valerie, um, I don't know if there is or not, um, but uh, what I, I can, just uh, saw it. Someone was asking, and I just saw it. It is the, it is in there. Uh, okay, cool. I do know Kara posts everything in the Team Elite Agents page. Um, so instead of creating a new post, I would just search in that page what you're looking for, and typically it would pop up. Um, so, yeah, every day yeah. she posts what the day what the daily one is. She rocks. Oh yeah, I can't imagine life without Kara. So yeah, she's amazing. Um, anyone else have any other questions? We got two more minutes. All right, cool. Well, um, yeah, so we got the presentation tonight uh, for the March to Boot Camp. Um, I mean, you guys literally, you know, uh, fortune is in the um, exposure and the follow up. So, you know, how many customers can you get? I would love to see everyone be recognized for the share to earn promotion and achieving it. It's just 11 customers, guys. So, you know, again, follow up with your old customers, promote to get new, incentivize other people um, to promote you as well. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's all about just doing the deal, being full-time and you're part-time. Most of us are part-time, that's great. Just make sure you're efficient and you're part-time and you'll achieve massive results. And so uh, we'll see you guys uh, obviously next week and, um, you know, uh, promote, promote to recruit and uh, we'll see you at the top guys. Have a great weekend, God bless, we'll see you soon.